The Star Spangled Banner. This is a popular song and it's played before a lot of sporting events and many singers have sang it and created their own versions of it. I'm going to give you a basic version of the playing guitar and then I want you to try to be creative with it. Sort of like, I don't know if you've ever heard of Jimi Hendrix doing the Star Spangled Banner, but if you have it, you can look it up on YouTube or on, uh, online somewhere. It's amazing what he did with it. He put distortion and he made it sound like explosions going off in the middle, but it was very creative. Uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan, a blues player, has also done a great version of this. So um, get the basic idea of it under your fingers, be able to play it, then try to make up your own versions of it and be creative with it. So, let me go through it nice and slow with you right now. Now, this is also going to have the dotted quarter note and the dotted half note included in it. So, be aware of those two note timings. So, it's going to start off with the third string open. And from that point, it goes back and repeats to the beginning again. to the next section. Now this note has what they call a fermata on top of it, it's a curved line with a dot. And for that note there, you're going to let it ring. It's one of those notes that you could let it ring for uh, any amount of time. Obviously you don't want to make it too long, but it's sort of like it was at the player's discretion how long you let that note ring. And here's the last section. All right, now I'm going to play it with uh, a backing track that has a rhythm on it so you can hear how it sounds all together. Make sure after you have it nice and smooth and have all the notes so you can play them all together right in a row from beginning to end, you try it with this backing track as well. Here we go.
All right, so that's the Star Spangled Banner. I want you to work on it, practice it, get it memorized, get all the timings with the dotted half notes and the dotted quarter notes in there, try to play it over the backing track, and then be creative and do your own little version of it.